How's it going, people? Got some unexpected uh, road work up here. You know, one of the things that can really throw a wrench in your day is uh, water mains blowing up or unexpected uh, utility work. And most of the time, we get no warning ahead. That's a power company. Power and gas. Yeah, we get no ahead, no warning ahead of time. So unless you know somebody knows, some you know drivers uh, will let each other know, say, hey man, you drive on such and such road, you know, need to watch out. And uh, pretty much how we get heads up about things to avoid or things to expect, so we can plan our ways around them. And uh, like I said, it's, the winter time is typically pretty mild here, but then when it does snap cold. We have water mains tend to blow up. It's like, especially if it's been prolonged. If it's just a day or two, probably not. But say we have a, a, a week, five or six days, seven days of uh, below freezing weather that hangs on and then the ground begins to freeze and it shifts and just enough to make these old pipes pop. And uh, I can't imagine working for the water company and having it be 20 degrees outside and having to stand in a hole full of mud and replace pipes. I just have a lot of respect for those guys. I don't know how they do it. Same way I guess people can't understand how I do what I do. People find out what I do for a living. They're like, how can you drive that? How, how do you deal with those kids? Yeah, it can be rough at times, but a lot of times it's very rewarding. Oh man, coming back after a holiday is going to be one of the hardest things you can do. It throws everything off. Kids even act kind of goofy if they're even just one day off. It throws everybody off their sleep schedules. So generally means good behavior in the afternoons after a holiday because everybody's tired, extra tired. They tend to be more quiet. Your troublemakers tend to be less troublesome. Not always, but a lot of times. One time I had a, I had a particularly challenging run. These kids were wild, man. I had a, I had a monitor in the afternoon to help keep an eye on them, help keep them under control. And the mornings they weren't too bad, and, and the uh, afternoon, so man, they're just off the hook. And I had to have another grown up keep an eye on them. And uh, it was right after Christmas break, so that we we had been off for two weeks. And uh, I uh, picked them all up and we're going, I had to take the expressway from downtown back out to the eastern part of the county where they went to school. And uh, it was dead silent for two days straight in the mornings. It was dead silent. Everybody just sat. And it's, well, that was never the case. It was really bizarre. It went from, you know, total mayhem to Almost, almost dead silent. It was really nice. But by the third day, everybody was back up, back in the swing of things. And, uh, you know, they were all back to normal. But it was a really a, a, a wild shift of behavior. And I had 60, 62 or three kids on the bus at that time. It was way overpopulated. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Anyway. Some of you may find this interesting or not. Anyway, if you like what you see on my videos and you'd like to see more, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, leave me a comment if you have a question or something. I like I like getting questions from people. And until then, I'll see you guys later. And uh, please, everybody out there, be safe and have a nice day. Catch you later.